and today we will learn about inequalities and certain facts related to it. Now let's first of all see what exactly we mean by inequality. There are two numbers that is A and B and these are the real numbers. We can easily compare their position by using the relation either less than, either greater than or less than or equals to or greater than equals to. For example, if I say x is greater than 3, that means it will contain all those values which are more than 3. Now let's look at the various types of graphs of inequality. We basically use this sign, then that means we have to shade up and we have to also use the solid line. The reason for using the solid line is that we are having the equal sign also with it. And when we are using this sign, then we have to basically shade down and we have to use the solid line. Similarly, if we have the greatest sign where we have no equal sign along with it, then that means we have to shade up but with the dashed line. And also if we have the lesser sign now, we have to shade down and also with the dashed line. Now let's look at the graph of y equals to x. y equals to x will be simply a straight line passing through the origin. So that means if x is 1, y is also 1. And if x is 2, y is also 2. x is 3, y is also 3. Now let's look at the graph of y greater than equals to x. We know that y equals to x means a straight line passing through the origin. So y greater than equals to x means all those values which are lying above this line. So that means all those values which are lying in this region. Now let's look at the graph of y less than equals to x. We know that the graph of y equals to x is a straight line passing through the center. So for y less than equals to x, it will be simply all those values which lies below this line. So that means the, the points which lies in this shaded region will be for y less than equals to x. Now let's talk about the graph of y equals to x plus 1. We all know that the graph of y equals to x is basically a straight line passing through the center or the origin. So for y equals to x plus 1, the same line will now shift one unit towards the left. So now this is basically a line for y equals to x plus 1. Now on the basis of it, let's see what will be the graph for y greater than equals to x plus 1. We know that y equals to x plus 1 is basically this line. So for y greater than equals to x plus 1, it will be the points lying above this line. So that means all the points lying in this region represents y greater than equals to x plus 1. Similarly, for y less than equals to x plus 1, it will be all the points lying below this line, that is in this shaded region. Now let's check for y greater than x plus 1. We know that it does not include any equal sign with it. So that means it will be a dashed line now. So that means all the points which lies above this dashed line represents y greater than x plus 1. So similarly for y lesser than x plus 1, it will be all the points which lies below this dashed line. That is this one. Now let's check out the graph of x greater than 2. For this, first of all, we will look for x equals to 2. So this is basically x equals to 2. Now that means for x greater than 2, it will be all the points which are lying above than this x greater than 2. That means this region will represent x greater than 2. 
Now let's look at this question. We have to write down the equation of the line given below. We know that simply when y equals to x is shifted 3 units towards the left, we get the same line which is given over here. So that means the equation for this line will be y equals to x plus 3 because it is shifted 3 units towards the left. Now let's write down the equation for this graph also. Now this is basically a line which we got when we shift y equals to x 1 unit towards the right. So that means the graph for this now will be y equals to x minus 1. 